from time to time you'll have to go to the, to the terminal this is a terminal that is a terminal what's more interesting a right mouse click that is a terminal because once once you are inside some some kind of um, map for instance here you can open it there open in terminal and then you will see that you are already in templates which is very interesting and very neat have to do a lot of stuff to have that in Ubuntu this is standard in Linux Mint so here you can do some stuff like ls uh, what is the list eh, the, the dir in dir commando in uh, old MS-DOS so that's a very interesting thing what can we do more you can see it's a little bit uh, flu or you say it transparent and we can change it by right mouse clicking profiles profile preferences and you can change a lot of stuff here which makes it a bit more flashy or cool background you can make it a li little bit less uh, transparent or more or less transparent whether to your liking actually eh? just slide it it's okay now I can read the, the page beneath it so you're looking at the solution for some kind of issue and then you can read it through the terminal that's one I like it a little bit more dark like this and very important is this one when you run something you do a sudo opt update and st stuff I'll explain later then you have a limitation so I first always uh, put here a little mark so now I can scroll unlimited you now so I can go back and back and see are there errors are there problems can I uh, find some solutions maybe you like some other colors what I also normally check I'm looking where it is ah, here it is normally make it a little bit bigger so you see already if you just uh, do this then you see that the style is a little bit more if you don't like the font there is a lot of fonts available so you can change that as well as much as you like let's let's keep it like this for the moment and that concludes the explanation of the terminal